This is activity two, dealing with similar triangles and proportional reasoning, part of unit one, measurement and trigonometry. Here we're going to take a look at reviewing what a ratio is. Remember that a ratio is a comparison of two quantities. The numbers are separated in the ratio with a colon. So a ratio such as this would be verbally described as a ratio of four to five. And you can see that it's written as four colon five. Another way that we can write this ratio rather than in colon format, four colon five, is we could also write it in fraction format as four over five. You'll have to be careful when creating ratios because order does matter. As you say the values from left to right or in order that you say them, four to five, for example, they should be written in that format, four colon five, or if you choose the fraction format, write the first value on the top and the second value on the bottom. For example, down here, the ratio of three to two is not the same as the ratio of two to three. You can see that they're verbally described differently and written differently. In this example, we're gonna take a look at creating some ratios. Let's suppose that in Jeff's backpack, it contains two CDs, five pencils, three books, and one orange. And if we are asked to create a ratio of the number of books to CDs, we need to take a look at all of the number of items that he has in his backpack and place the appropriate number of items in our ratio format. We look to this part of the question. It says that we're looking for a ratio of the number of books to CDs. So we can identify that there are three books and two CDs. So as we read it from left to right, books to CDs, we'll take the number of books, which is three, and we'll place our colon in between, followed by the number of CDs. So we've got a three to two ratio. Or of course, we could write that in fraction format as being three over two. The second question could be, what is the ratio of the number of CDs to the total number of items in his bag? Now in this case, we need to take a look at, first off, how many items does he have in total in his bag? So you can see with, with the two CDs, five pencils, three books, and one orange, if we add up all of those items, he has 11 items in his bag. Now we need to create this ratio. Again, we're talking about the number of CDs. So we have two CDs and 11 total items. So if we're writing the ratio of CDs to total number of items, place the CDs first, then the total number of items, and you have a two to 11 ratio. Or of course, it could be written in fraction format as being two over 11. Now we're gonna take a look at proportions. A proportion is an equation with a ratio on either side of the equal sign. It's a statement that forces two ratios to be equal. If you cross multiply two ratios, and they are equivalent, then the relationship between the two ratios is proportional. For example, if we had three over two equal to 30 over 20, and we were trying to determine if this was a proportional relationship, we would say that it would be, because if we cross multiplied three times the 20, which we've done here is 60, and cross multiplied here two times the 30, which we've completed is also 60, you can see that those two values are equal, therefore it is a proportion. Let's try it with this example. Is there a relationship, a proportional relationship, between two to seven and 12 to 17? If we take a look at those two ratios, two to seven and 12 to 17 in fraction format, and we cross multiply, two times 17 is 34, seven times 12 is 84. So since 34 is not equal to 84, the relationship between these two ratios is not proportional. In this example, we're going to determine if a statement is a proportion. 